In a bombshell BBC 1995 interview with Martin Bashir, Princess Diana touched on everything. From her battle with bulimia to Prince Charles' affair. Later it was revealed the BBC deceived the princess to obtain the tell-all interview that shook up the British monarchy. The BBC also made her believe Charles was having an affair with William and Harry's nanny. After that Diana shared her side of the story like never before. Decades later, Prince William and Diana's brother are still furious. Keep watching to find out more. It says that your husband renewed his relationship with Mrs. Camilla Parker Bowles. Were you aware of that? Yes, I was. But I wasn't in a position to do anything about it. What evidence did you have that their relationship was continuing even though you were married? A, a woman's instinct is a very good one. <laughs> Is that all? Well, I had, I, obviously, I had knowledge of it. From staff? Well, from people who minded and cared about our marriage. Do you think you'll ever be queen? <laughs> no, I don't, no. Why do you think that? I'd like to be a queen of people's hearts, in people's hearts, but I don't see myself being queen of this country. I don't think many people would want me to be queen, actually. When I say many people, I mean the establishment that I'm married into, because they've decided that I'm a non-starter. Why do you think they've decided that? Because I do things differently. Because I don't go by a rule book. Because I lead from the heart, not the head. And albeit that's got me into trouble in my work, I understand that. But someone's got to go out there and love people and show it. Um, I just don't think I have as many supporters in that environment than I did. Than I did. Yeah. You mean within the royal household? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They see me as a, a threat of some kind. I think every strong woman in history has had to walk down a similar path. And I think it's the strength that causes the confusion and the fear. Why is she strong? Where does she get it from? Where is she taking it? Where is she going to use it? Why do the public still support her? What nobody knew at the time, the BBC deceived the princess. In 2020, it was alleged that Bashir showed two false bank statements to Diana's brother, Charles Spencer, in a bid to convince him that Diana's favorite staff member was leaking information about their family. Martin Bashir used fake bank accounts to look more trustworthy and persuaded Diana to talk about her marriage. For instance, Diana believed that William and Harry's nanny and Prince Charles were having an affair. Bashir had shown Diana a fake abortion receipt for the nanny, once again preying on the princess's existing fears. Charles Spencer got very worried after hearing this. He spoke about it with Diana, which led to the world-famous interview in November 95 just two years before Diana's tragic death. After the results of an investigation were released, the BBC apologized in 2022 and Bashir said he was deeply sorry. Princess William and Harry both got furious about the manipulations around the interview, but finally accepted the apologies. Netflix's The Crown Season 5 covers the interview with Diana, played by Elizabeth Debicki, and shows the shocking deceit of the BBC. You'd wake up in the morning feeling you didn't want to get out of bed, uh, you felt misunderstood, and um, just very, very low in yourself. When no one listens to you, or you feel no one's listening to you, all sorts of things start to happen. For instance, you have so much pain inside yourself that you try and hurt yourself on the outside because you want help, but it's the wrong help you're asking for. What did you actually do? Well, I just hurt my arms and my legs. And I work in environments now where I see women doing similar things, and I'm able to understand completely. I had bulimia for a number of years. And that's like a secret disease you inflict it upon yourself because your self-esteem is to low ebb and you don't think you're worthy or valuable. I was crying out for help, but giving the wrong signals. And people were using my bulimia as a coat on a hanger. They decided that was the problem. Diana was unstable. And the thing about bulimia is your weight always stays the same. 
whereas with anorexia you visibly shrink. So you can pretend the whole way through. There's no proof. To do with people dying, people very sick, people... Marriage is the problem, all that. And I come home and it would be very difficult to know how to comfort myself, having been comfort lots of other people. So it would be a regular pattern to jump into the fridge. Well, it gave everybody a wonderful new label. It's Diana's unstable and Diana's um, mentally imbalanced. And unfortunately, that seems to have stuck on and off over the years. So you were isolated? Mm-hmm. Very much so. Do you think Mrs Parker Bowles was a factor in the breakdown of your marriage? Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. As you say, you'd agreed to a legal separation. Mm -hmm. What were your feelings at the time? Deep, deep, profound sadness. So we'd, we had struggled to keep it going, but obviously we'd, all, we'd both run out of steam. I come from a divorced back up background. I didn't want to go into that one again. What happened next? We, I, I asked my husband if we could put the announcement out before the children came back for school, for Christmas holidays, because they were protected in the school they were at. And he did that. And it came out on December the 9th. I was on an engagement up north. I heard it on the radio. And it was just very, very sad. Really sad. A fairy tale had come to an end. Most importantly, our marriage had taken a turn, a different turn. Do you think the Prince of Wales will ever be king? <clears throat> Who knows what circumstances will provoke. But you would know him better than most people. <clears throat> Do you think he would wish to be king? There was always conflict on that subject with him when we discussed it. And I understood that conflict because it's a very demanding role being Prince of Wales, but it's equally a more demanding role being king. My wish is that my husband finds peace of mind, and from that follows other things, yes. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time.